What's up, Kyle Gang? Welcome back to the Static Sprawl. So, what we're trying to find is the moment of inertia around the x-axis of this shaded figure here. So let's figure it out, right? So we're trying to find the moment of inertia around the x-axis. We're going to use our formula here. So it's the integral over the area of y squared dA. Uh, so we need to find out what dA is, right? So dA, we can't integrate dA, but we can integrate dy or dx. So in terms to find that, uh, we know that uh, dA is equal to x dy or y dx. In the case here, we have this y squared, so it's going to be easier if we do y dx, or excuse me, x dy. We want the dy to match the y squared here, so we can integrate with respect to y, which we already have. So uh, let's get started on this. So let's plug into our integral here. So it's going to be y squared and then x dy. So the reason I didn't put in the x yet is because we have to make sure that we're right. So let's go over to our graph here. We're integrating with respect to y. So if we're going with respect to y, we're coming off of the y-axis and are moving out a distance. So this line is defined by y squared is equal to x. So if we're going x distance, we're starting here and we're going up to this line. And that is uh, in terms of what the area is, right? We're finding the area from the y-axis to the line. So we don't need to change anything up. We already have the integral, right? So we can just put an x here. But then now we have an issue where this x does not match the dy. We want to make sure we only have one term when we integrate, so we don't are left with an x. So conveniently, we have y squared is equal to x here. So we can just plug in y squared for the x in this integral, and it's going to be equal to uh, so the uh, y squared y squared dy, right? Because x squared becomes dy. And then we need to find our bounds, right? So it's with respect to y. So y bounds goes from zero to four. So we can say it goes from zero to four. So then it's just about integrating this. It's a pretty simple integral here. So this is zero to four, y to the fourth, dy. Integrate this, so it's going one over five, y to the fifth, from zero to four. Plug this in, you get that i of x is equal to 205 inches to the fourth. Make sure you get your units right. And there you go, that's how you solve this problem. So it's not too tricky, just about um, you know finding the right bounds. Uh, yeah, so check out my next, uh, next video. We're gonna be doing it with respect to the y-axis. So with respect to the y-axis is gonna be a bit more tricky. So yeah, let's figure it out. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace.